Now, section 6.4 is very similar to section 6.3. We're going to start factoring a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not a 1. So I want to find two numbers that when I multiply them is equal to 40. You see, I went 8 times 5 for 40. But when I add my numbers, I want them to equal to 14. So I'm thinking 4 and 10. Because my leading coefficient is not a 1, the 4 and 10 is just how I am going to split my middle term. So the first term is just 8p squared. Now my middle term, will, I'm going to split it as 4p plus 10p. Right? I just split my middle term. And my last term is 5. Now I have four terms. I'm going to go by grouping. Looking at the first two terms, I can divide both by 4p. If I factor out 4p out of each, I'm going to have 2p plus 1. If I look at my last two terms, let me factor a 5 out. And I'm also going to have a 2p plus 1. So my answer will end up being 2p plus 1 and 4p plus 5. For this example, let's take a look at two numbers that multiplied is equal to 18, but when I add my numbers is equal to negative 11. They multiply to a positive, so that means the signs are the same. I'm dealing with a negative 11, so let me deal with two negatives. I'm going to be thinking of negative 2, negative 9. That is just how I am going to split my middle term. So I'm going to write 6x squared minus 2x minus 9x plus 3. Looking at the first two terms, I can divide both of them by 2x. Divide each by 2x, and I'm going to have 3x minus 1. Looking at the last two terms, I can divide them both by a negative 3, and I'm going to have 3x minus 1. I want my parentheses to match, signs included. That's why I factor a negative 3. So... My factor, my factor should be 3x minus 1 and 2x minus 3. Now, here, I want two numbers that when I multiply them, is equal to negative 240. But when I add my numbers, is equal to negative 1. So I'm thinking, what two numbers? multiplied is equal to negative 240 and added is equal to negative 1. So thinking of factors of 140, 1 times 240. My numbers will be different signs just to begin with. So, okay, that doesn't work. 2 times 120, that doesn't work. 3 times 80, 4 times 60, 5 times 48, so far, it's not working, but just continue. 6 times 40, 7 is not a factor. 8 times 30, 9 is not a factor. 10 times 24, or about 12 times 20. And uh, 240 let's see, divided by 13 gives us a decimal. What about 240 divided by 14 gives us a decimal? But if I go 240 divided by 15, I get 15 and 16. All right. When I subtract 15 and 16, it does give me negative 1, or at least give me 1. So I'm going to have my factors are going to be positive 15, negative 16. And that is just how I am going to split my middle term. So 12a squared plus 15ab minus 16ab minus 20b squared. Look at the first two terms. I can divide each by 3a. So divide each by 3a, and we're going to have 4a plus 5b. Okay. Looking at the last two terms, let me divide each by a negative 4b. Divide each by negative 4b, and we're going to have 4a plus 5b. So my factors will be 
4a plus 5b and 3a minus 4b. I can start multiplying 15 times 30 and then have to add up to 55. But I'm going to factor out a greatest common factor to begin with. Let me make everything smaller. I'm going to divide everything by 5y. So I'm going to have 3y squared plus 11y plus 6. So now I'm going to be looking for two numbers that multiplied equals 18. But when I add them, it's equal to 11. I'm just looking at the parentheses. And that's how I'm going to split my middle term. So I have 3y squared. Oh, my two numbers are going to be 2 and 9. Plus 2y. Plus 9y. Plus 6. On my first two terms, let me factor out a y. So I'm going to have 3y plus 2. On my last two, let me factor out a 3. I'm going to have 3y plus 2. For space, I'm going to write it here at the side. My factors will be 3y plus 2 and y plus 3. However, don't forget the greatest common factor that we took out at the beginning. Same thing with my example b. I want my first number to be positive. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to factor a negative number. I'm going to factor a negative 3a. Negative 3, 8. So I'm going to have 8, 8 to the second, minus 14a, plus 15. I mean minus 15. And this is a plus 14a, minus 15. Remember, I factor a negative number, so my signs change. Okay, so I'm looking for two numbers that when I multiply them, is equal to negative 120. But when I add them, it's equal to 14. Ooh, factors of 120. I want them to multiply to a negative, so that means my signs are different. I'm thinking of 6 and 20. So positive 20, negative 6. That's how I'm going to split my middle term. Once again, I'm just looking at the parentheses, 8a squared plus 20a minus 6a minus 15. Looking at the first two terms, I'm going to factor the 4a out. So I have 2a plus 5. Looking at the last two terms, let me factor a negative 3 out. So I'm going to have 2a plus 5. For space purposes, once again, let me write it here at the side. My factors, my parentheses should be 2a plus 5 and 4a minus 3. However, don't forget the greatest common factor we took out at the very beginning.